Kirsty just wanted to start the session today, the self-understanding session, by giving you a little bit of information about the life-changing company as a whole and what the program is designed to do. Is that going to be all right for you yep, to start great. you off? If you have any questions in the meantime or if something you know comes to, to mind and you just want to ask me then, feel free to do that. Um, with The Life Changing Company, um, I'm Ali Stewart and I've been in career management and outplacement for 15 years. Prior to that, uh, I had another 5 to 10 year working history within the recruitment sector. And what I've done is to put a package together that's going to be an online service whereby you can get the best materials to help walk you through a, a job search program and either from uh, if you've been made redundant or if you are looking for a, a new career direction. And I start the program with the self-understanding module because a lot of people when they first start um, looking for a position when they, they've left school there can be a lot of factors which um, influence the decisions that they make. Um, you could, for example, go into a job where your parents wanted you to follow a particular direction. When you first left school, what was your plan? How, you know, what did you do? Oh, I had grand plans. Um, I, wanted, I wanted to be a lawyer, basically. I had grand ideas that I wanted to be a lawyer in France possibly in New Zealand, but I left school, went to university um, and started doing the law degree that I thought would start my career. But when I got there it wasn't what I'd hoped it would be and I didn't actually enjoy the subject and I couldn't see myself doing it as a job. I enjoyed it academically and I enjoyed writing the essays and reading and all the bits that came with it, but the actual job per se I didn't enjoy it and I came to the point where I thought, what am I going to do now? I'm doing this degree. And I considered changing my degree mm -hmm. part way through, but having done a year and a half, I kind of thought, oh, I can't do another year and a half again, so four and a half years right. in university. I'll just get through it and I'll work it out at the end. But then, but before I'd actually got to the end, I'd already lined myself up with a job in an insurance company, so my path was set, as it were, at that point in time. Right. So in a way, it sounds like um, you didn't actually make, apart from perhaps going to university, a really proactive choice about what you wanted to do. And, and this happens for an awful lot of people. It's like, well, um, I'll do this because it's available, or I'll do this because I can do it. And talking to friends and family can be both a help and a hindrance when it comes to understanding what you, you know, about you, what you want to do, because there are so many people who are willing to tell you, of course, well, you should be doing this, or you should be doing that, or why don't you, or you can't possibly. And when you work through the job search program, it gives you time and space to sit back and ask yourself questions about, well, who, who am I? What do I really want to do? And I've designed the first part, the self-understanding module, to really help walk you through this bit because if you, um, if you draw up your life path up to date and your career path, when you look at them you can often see that what's happening in your outside life has a reflection on your career life. So when you left university, you got your degree, you, said you were talking about you had a job with an insurance company, that kind of doesn't seem like you somehow. No, and it probably wasn't even close to being me. I'd had an internship the summer before uh -huh. my last year at university and they'd offered me a job in a new a new department that was European based. So it was, it was kind of along the lines of using my languages in an environment that I was going to get paid a decent amount of money for. So it was, it was kind of a compromise between what I would have probably ideally liked to have done and, and what was offered mm -hmm. and what was there. Um, 
but then I probably having I spent the next six years at in that not in that job but in that company moving from different job to different job right. training in different things trying to work out what it was in this company that I could actually do but at the same time I spent a lot of that time wanting to be doing something else and trying to figure out how I could do something else and how I could do that without compromising my income, without compromising my home, without without all these kinds of the bills and the, the responsibilities that I'd taken on over the period of time when I was right. in that job, how I could go and do what I wanted to do without putting all that at risk. You said that you chose law initially because you are kind of a little bit argumentative. And uh, I think that's probably quite a lot argumentative. And so you, you come out of that kind of um, situation and then going into insurance and I think it's like argumentative insurance you know it's sort of like it's a bit of a dead weight really yeah there's not much arguing to be done in insurance no it sounds like you were doing more arguing with yourself actually about what you should or shouldn't be doing yeah, next I think I think that's a fair comment and I think I've been doing that almost since I decided that law was the thing that I wanted to do because mm. it was I, I, it did partly suit my, my personality because it's quite academic and it's, it's got that personal interaction and that need to be a little bit argumentative, shall we say. But at the, at the same time, it, it took me into an area that is not me, the, the kind of bowing down to other people's opinions right. and, and kind of towing the line if you like and that that's not me and I ended up going from a law degree where you have to tow the line to a job where you have to tow the line and you weren't motivated to, to think creatively yeah. to think outside the box because it was all just process it was all just process um, what a lot of people don't realize when they take positions which aren't a real fit for them or at least an 80 percent fit it can actually start to make you feel quite um, well or you function under par so it's not just going to influence you in your working life and it's going to influence you when you come home so what I've done in terms of putting the job search program together I've taken the idea of the job search program and I've built the structure so that it is going to be available for you in terms of it you start with a self-understanding module you work through the module on change which helps people to deal with how they make changes in their lives then you get the CV preparation workbook and you get the um, interview skills workbook so you're going to be walked all the way through this you then will be uh, um, subscribed to the life-changing membership site or the life-changing link and you will get an online magazine delivered to you, you will get articles, there will be quotes from experts, there will be constantly the any new developments in the job market will be reported here because nowadays it's even said that if your CV is a hundred days old which isn't what well, it's not very old at all just over three months it's actually out of date and people don't know that now um, one of the ways for building your um, you know building your CV is not just enough anymore to have a CV you need a website where you can give examples of the kind of work that you've done give more demonstration about you as a person so in order to get through to that end goal then the, the job search program will help you do that it's the starting point to save you time and energy going all the way through everything that's available on the internet and then getting more confused than where you were when you started. So thinking about thinking about various friends and family who mm. are also in a similar kind of situation, does it suit anyone from someone who's literally just left university to someone's kind of mid-twenties thinking what do I do now to someone who's maybe pre-retirement yes. and wondering what can they do now that, that is maybe going to give them a bit of pocket money but at the same time ease them into their retirement? Yeah. Um, absolutely, because also what a lot of people don't realise is that if they have an outside interest, that you can actually take that outside interest as a basis for making yourself a new career. And often people say, well, no, I can't do that. You know, it's just something I do as a hobby. It's just something that I enjoy. 
Um, and you can take those building blocks and you can make yourself a, a business, for example, because there are so many people who spend their lives just not doing what, what they want to do. Um, and it is possible. I've seen it over and over again. Once you actually have your own inner clarity, your own inner focus, you can bring it into reality.